Today, we will talk about what is happening in the crypto markets. In the first section, I'll talk about how to read markets and how people manipulate the markets falsely. In the next section, we will go to lower time frames, find out key levels that are extremely important and how to identify those key levels with price action structures. In the final section, I'll talk about trades that I took and we will do a quick intro to power of three, accumulation, manipulation and expansion. We have so much to do. If you are ready, let's start. Ok friends, today I'll complete the traps and stop loss hunting with a general look at the markets. Next week probably I'll talk about swing failure pattern. I believe that day by day you are improving. It is lovely to see the results that people keep emailing me or tweeting about it. If you are ready, let's do it. In our last video, we talked about three possible cases that might happen. First, the bullish case, which price made you a very strong breakout from the 4 hour swing point and continue its bullish vibes. Second is the range. Price will keep bouncing between the last premium and discount zones without making any significant and strong breakout to either side. And the last case is bearish conditions. The price will keep falling with a high quality breakout to the downside. One thing that you should understand about price action traders, we do not play a guess game like Bitcoin will be $500,000 or $5,000. If you did any programming in your life, you'll know the if statements. If this happens, then do this. Price action is the same. We do not care at all if Bitcoin becomes a million dollars or one dollar. As price action traders, we only focus on conditions. If this happens, then I would do this. For example, if imbalance fails, then I'll open low time frames and wait for a micro MSP. If the price touches the order block, then I'll open low time frames and wait for enter opportunities. If the price is in the premium zone and greedy stage, then I'll look for shorts. If the price is in the discount zone, I'll look for longs. As you can see, it is the same as coding. Let's see what happened. Our first bullish case worked. The price moved up and our last saving high point from 4 hours was taken out. However, this breakout is not very strong. So the bullish case may not continue and it could turn into a range where price keep bouncing between premium and discount zones. Another important thing is that you can notice how price feels the imbalance and reacts to it. But you already know that because you always check the left of your chart, you are slowly becoming a pro trader. With this breakout, we are entering a greed stage, which is boosted up by social media and influencers. I immediately saw that Bitcoin will be a $100,000 tweets and social media posts already. Can it be? Yes, it can be. It can take over from here and skyrocket. But we do not care about that. We only care for our rules. Price action trading depends on rules. Let's check out one hour time frame. You can notice the demand area here. This demand area was a great target with a possible market structure break. After a 4 hour imbalance field and greedy stage, one thing I noticed that everybody sending me order block charts and keep asking me about order blocks. I think people keep forgetting the importance of breaker blocks and support resistance flips. Breaker blocks are as important as order blocks. Do you see this little green candlestick and do you know how important it is? You can easily notice that how many times this zone is tested. It is like a price magnet. The price keeps bouncing from this line. This is a great target as well as an entry point. So you should focus on your breaker blocks and support resistance flip areas as much as order blocks. There are two traps here. 
all fused with equal lows and imbalances. The first one is in the discount zone. The second one is in the premium zone. Okay, always keep drawing your equal lows and highs because you can use them as entries also as targets. Traps could be easy targets for you. When I opened 15 minutes time frame, I noticed many internal structures. First of all, there were other equal lows formed which were visible in 15 minutes time frame. And also equal highs kept forming. It was a range. It was a dangerous range. This technique is called PO3. Or you can call it power of 3. Accumulation is the range phase, where the price has no significant direction. Keep consolidating, generally leaving us equal highs and lows. Manipulation is the phase that one side of liquidity is hunted. However, this is a trap hunting. It makes you think that it is a bullish breakout. However, pro traders like you already know that we are in the greed stage from 4 hours, the end of a high time frame momentum. And we are in the premium zone of the 4 hour time frame. Again, combining high and low time frames is saving our lives here. Last phase is the expansion. Finally, price goes its true direction. Keep hunting those equal lows and filling the imbalance from the 1 hour. The trade that I took was really simple. Once I noticed the accumulation and manipulation stages, I also noticed that price hits the imbalance in the premium zone. My stop loss was around the top side of the imbalance. To be honest, the ideal stop loss was around this high point. That would be a quite a large stop loss. But again, a usable one, especially in this hard trading environment. My targets were equal lows below, from the high time frame and the low time frame as well. And the imbalance area from the 1 hour time frame. One more time, when you see an equal lows and highs with imbalances, you should be extra careful. Opening a trade against it could be dangerous. As I said before, 2022 is a rough year for all kinds of traders. With so many fake setups and limited rallies without a clear direction. This is why I have larger stop losses. Or you could reduce your risk, make smaller entries and depending on the condition you may add to your position. This year is more of a risk management year rather than a proper trading year. People who manage their risks will be the winners. Ok folks, I hope you gained some knowledge about how to read the markets and identify the key zones before trading. If you have any questions in your mind, please leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer them. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like for me. Thank you, take care and see you soon.